YouTube, we are in the grand finals of the Meta Weekly every single week. We are so many weeks into the Exceed era, and where are the Exceeds at? Well, that's okay. We'll be ready when the Exceeds come. Until then, click join on YouTube to then join the Discord. Over 47,000 members in the Discord. Accept your invite. We're talking about the new box. We have the new combos. We got plays up the wazoo. If you wanted to check out a new play within the Discord after connecting your Twitch and your Discord or your YouTube and Discord. So if we look at the GoGo -Go channel, boom, just like that, go to pin messages. We have combo deck ideas. We got combo plays. Look at this, showing you the plays. Boom, 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 boom. Going through it all, going through the plays, Exceed Shokan, loving it. Also, check out the Spicy Winstreak channel. What more could you expect from the largest, most active Duel Links Discord for events, discussions, and help? Over $300 monthly of free events that you could join. Also, the top tier competitive events. At this point, we've given away over $70,000 in event prize support. These are non top tier decks, by the way, that are again win streaks. That's insane. All non top tier. Let's go to the grand finals. There can only be one winner, and you're looking at it. Let's go. Boom, boom, boom. Bam. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Even I'm surprised at what the players are playing. I have no idea what they're playing. We have Akiza activating the effect of Squire to special summon a tuner from the deck. Not activating level augmentation nor level dupe to change the levels of the monsters on the fields. We're going to make a simple level six synchro. What the? Samurai Saga, its effect is it pretty much has no effect. It's just 2,500 vanilla, but we got triple back row. That's why he did not have a monster to boost the level on the fields. Very good. Odeon activating to activating an invoker. Invoker going to attempt to search for a fusion spell as the fiendish chain says no. Lock up and negate the invoker. Now you got wreck could chain Lance or chain a cosmic cyclone to stop that fiendish chain. Cosmic cyclone will negate the fiendish chain. Does not. Okay, very good. No search for you. Set, set, set. Wait, $130 donation? What the? Tank Tom, $131.39 to the prize support. I will add that right after this duel. Oh my Jesus. Thank you, Tank Tom. Activating Ballista Squad attribute off the Synchro to take out a back row Floodgate Trap Hole. Now, the level 6 Vanilla Synchro can be used with the level 2 Spectral Sword in the Graveyard to banish a non-tuner to make a bigger Synchro. Looks like he's going to summon Solitaire first. Solitaire going to attribute itself to summon a tuner from the deck. This is not looking good for You Got Wrecked, who's about to get wrecked. Focus. Tank Tom, you are insane. Thank you so much for that 131.39 going to the prize support. Okay, we have a Spectral Sword from the deck. Now, instead of banishing the Samurai Saga to make a level 8, he could now banish the Solitaire. To make a level six, then the Solitaire will resummon the tuner back in the field. He'd have a level six, a level two, and a level two. Or he could just have a level eight and a level two. Or he could have a level six and a level two, but draw and discard by banishing the squire instead. He's got three options. Three pathways. I feel every duelist, every good duelist should always know the available plays, even if they are not the best plays. Now Fire Red did not play around a Karma Cut, which will not only banish the Spectral Sword off the field, but also the one in the graveyard, completely turning off all of his plays because I guess that was kind of greedy. Oh my Jesus. So the way Karma Cut works is when Fire Red draws for his turn, he knows that the back row is not activatable. He knows there's no delay, there's no hourglass, the back row's not activatable. But by summoning the Solitaire, the back row then became activatable. So he had to make a read on the Karma Cut being a Karma Cut and possibly not using Solitaire's effect to summon a Spectral Sword that would get Karma Cut. Oh my Jesus. Double Fiendish Shane negating the Invoker to search for an invocation. 
you watch the streams live, you will know plays like that, reading the delays, reading the hourglass, how to play with the toggle. Diamond Dire Wolf with both of the negated invokers. Diamond Dire Wolf, its effect is, well, in the battle phase, it has no effect, it's just 2k attack. Its real effect is you could detach a material to destroy itself and any other card in the field. Now, destroying itself does not have to be itself if you have another beast, beast warrior, or wing beast to destroy instead. Back to you, got wrecked. Now, I do believe most Shiranui decks control Shiranui. They only play two Spectral Sword. It's limited to three, but they only play two. And if he no longer has Spectral Sword in the deck or in the graveyard, then he's completely out of plays. 2k to the face. Karma cut for the win. Now, what about Katone? Control Shiranui, I would say, normally does not play Katone. Now, both players are getting ready for game number two. If we were to check out a Control Shiranui deck, let's see. If this Control Shiranui deck example right here were to have his Spectral Sword, both Spectral Swords be banished, he'd be done, right? He's done. That's it. Back to Fire Red going first. Turn one Solitaire, activating, tributing itself to summon a Tuner from the deck. No Spearmaster. Well, as we could see from the statistics, they don't play Spirit Master. They also don't play a third Spectral Sword. That's just, this is the Control Shiranui. This is not Combo Shiranui. This is Control Shiranui, a different way to play Shiranui. Invoker activating to search for an invocation. Where's the Fiendish Chain? No Fiendish Chain to negate. Banishing Solitaire with the effect of invocation, which will trigger the effect of Solitaire to summon a Banish Shiranui, which is not itself. So it's going to summon nothing. Per good trio is here. Now the invocation on the graveyard could add Invoker back to the hand, which could be discarded to boost up the Purga Trio by plus 1,000 attack. Which means if he has two Invoker, he's got game. I feel like he's got two. Why else would he put a Spectral Sword in the graveyard? Okay, we got Ballista Squad. Ballista Squad going to tribute off the Spectral Sword to destroy any card on the field. Goes for the monster, not the back row. But he's got Invoker in the hand, so he'll summon another Purga Trio next turn. And you can't give him the opportunity to banish your Spectral Sword. You must use your pe Spectral Sword. Or at least negate the Invoker for, from searching for an Invocation. Oh my Jesus. The Solitaire was perfect. Again, he is going to lose to Karma Cut. The Solitaire was going to tribute itself. Summon a Tuner. Then banish the Solitaire with the effect of the Spectral Sword. Then he had over he had basically 5,000 plus damage that turn. That turn he would have won. Invoker get searching. Grabbing invocation, no back row, absolutely nothing. Does he have game? Yes, he does. He's summoning an invoked earth. Invoked earth at 3,000 attack. If I look on the website, I see a sphere Kribo in a recent build. Please, 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 sphere Kribo goes in for 3k, which will be 4k with the invoker, but boost. One boost, one boost, 4K, two ba boost. He was going in for lethal with the Purga Trio. Double the boost, just like that. You got wrecked. Wrecking Fire Red with the 2-0 victory. The outcome. You should be proud of yourself. You should be proud of yourself. Good job, you got Wrecked, totally wrecking his opponent. Let's get to the top deck list. It is super, super late for me, so if my energy is not high, I'm sorry, my voice is also killing me. Let's look at the full deck type review. Sure, knew we most played deck or not. It's actually 15 and 15 combo and control are sharing that. So technically, Invoked Hero was the most played. Now, is this a meta shift? A crazy, crazy member of Duel Links meta, Poker Guy, he paid all 27 people to play Invoked Heroes. 
He paid them, he paid their entry, so they got to play the tournament for free. This is a great example of why you can't really trust free to join events for what their standings are, because when you're playing for free, you're playing some crazy stuff. He's trying to innovate and improve the deck. So if we remove that stat, you know, beyond this week, maybe people will play it legit, not being paid to play it, which I think was a good idea to optimize the deck, force people to play it good in a competitive setting. But beyond that, the real most played decks were Kristron's Invoked, then Shiranui and Shiranui. Just wait next week. We'll see if this is a real deck afterward when it, they're not being paid to play it. Thank you, Tank Tom, for supporting the prize support with that very generous donation. You got wrecked, got first place with this. This is Invoked Magician. Invoked will never die. And we even have people being paid to play Invoked in other decks. So not just being played in this. We're going to see what an Invoked Hero deck looks like shortly. Then we got Fire Red 1 in the deck Katone. Wow, Shade in the deck snuck in. I like this. Very good. Good job, Fire Red. Level dupe. Okay, before we get into the top three, two, here is the paid to play Invoked Hero deck. Got top 16. We'll probably see some others too in the random. Okay, interesting. Intradasting. Stratus will search a fire. You can make the Purgatrio with it. Okay. Playing Neos Fusion to send the fire. Okay. Bubble Man. If it's the only card in your hand, you can special summon it. It's water, so it could be used with Invoker. Search for a water, search for a fire with the Stratos. Okay, top 32 decks in a random order. We got Big Brain Insect. I don't know why. I don't see any insects in this deck. I don't get it. Does someone get this? Maybe someone in the comments could explain why this is called an insect deck. I've heard it more than once. All right, let's move on. And we got the Karakuri deck. Very nice. This is standard on standard. I don't know how what you could do to make a screenshot look like this. Maybe your phone screenshots a screenshot and then you take another screenshot of that screenshot. I'm more interested in that than the decklist itself. Very nice. See you later. Wow. We still don't have Levenir. We got Stratos. We're waiting for Levenir. I know you're waiting. You're waiting. You're waiting. Looking at the extra deck, looking good. Yeah, that's what you need to play Levenir. Okay, Thunder Dragons are back. Not back on the tier list, but they are placing in tournaments a little bit. Okay, Lured by Darkness, I like it. We got the Christrons. Christrons are clapping. And we got more Dupe Shura with some bonus gems in global chat. Don't ever go for those global gems, please. And some sea stealth attack, not level dupe Christrons. Double the picture just to fit the extra deck. Nice. Miracle draw. Hey, Miracle fusion in the main deck. Only one Neos fusion, okay. Draw Sense Dark, Invoked Magician Girls. What? Ryoku? What? Here we go. A more standard version of Blue Eyes. Looking good. And then we got this. More Invoked Heroes. With the extra deck. We got Invoked Magician Girls. Car Curry restart. People are playing Chain Disappear. It's crazy. 1,000 attack or less gets summoned. You banish it in all copies from the deck and their hand. Oh my Jesus. And we got... It's just... It's everywhere. Chain Disappear. It's here. It's going to be in the Casey Cup. It's going to be in the main deck. Don't cry about side deck. This is in the main. It's main, main, main. Invoked Iperia. You're expecting me to know what Aperia does. No, I only know what good cards do, and I don't know what this does. So I'm going to assume it's bad, but let's see what it does anyway. What the heck is Aperia? Well, Goomba is about to change my mind. We're gonna see what this is. This is a level two reptile water. No, it's not a water, it looks like a water, it's earth. Even more, why? 
If this card is summoned, draw a card. You can only use the Iperia once per turn. Wow. I just, I thought it was a water. I guess you're just summoning Invoked Earth and drawing a card. Konami, we found another card to limit to three. Okay? Just limit everything to three. And uh, there you go. Invoker will be fine as is if you just limit everything to three. You see this how desperate we are without Elmen Saber and Invoked Neos? We gotta do this. Oh, look, wow. You know, there are actually a lot of Thunder Dragons. I'm gonna look at the breakdown again. Did I just overlook the fact that we have three Thunder Dragons in the top 32? I think we did. This maybe should be going on the tier list. What do you think? You tell me. This is working. And then we have Cyber Dragon Storm. Storm is funny. Storm could pop your own trap, which will trigger its effect to search for a Cyber Dragon spell or trap. And we got this David Dare on Twitter. Very cool. Nice. And a Magnet deck. Gia, we have a deck for you to play. Restart Karakuri. Wow. People are so salty. They're getting blown out by Chain Disappear. So they're playing it themselves. Speaking of Chain Disappear, it's here. And we got Christrons. We got more. Wow, no Chain Disappear. Maybe he needs to get Chain Disappeared before he starts using it himself. More Invoked Heroes with the extra deck. And we got Goki. Liberty at last. We got Dark Magician. Balance, guaranteed monster spell and trap. Karakuri, restart. Wait, you can't restart with six traps and that. Yeah, too many monsters. Okay. I don't know what this is. Robar sent to Dido. That draws sense? Maybe. You tell me. Uh, Stru Strufenstigrogurund. There's hands on the invoker. <laughs> being held <laughs> okay that is the meta weekly let's go thank you all very much yeah buddy